The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. 17's Mike, Mike 17. Crunch time, defense. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 40. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Intelligent, decisive play to pitch it out to the tailbacks on the option. He had more room to run and picked up some quality yards. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. Number 86, From the 45-yard line, second down. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 32. made right around the 32-yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. And here's a quick throw. They came up short here trying to pick up the first down, but they still are in field goal range, and they're going to try to come up with three points. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Clemson is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Stanford's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can the It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage, and, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. They line up in the jumbo set. Nice run to the left there. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He'll get it again. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. Three yards the result of that carry, and that's good enough to move the chains. Again, they go with the halfback here, and again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. And they make the stop at the 41. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Well, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you've got a big-time advantage over any defense. They come out in a goal line set. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. That makes it 
from the 48 yard line. It's second down. They run left and he'll lose yardage. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's going right. And he's hit immediately. That's good for a gain of 26 yards. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25 yard line. Mike 12. Mike 12. Ready. Black and five. Black. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Throws it away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. They'll make the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Stanford is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up and it's long enough and he missed it left. No good. Well, the defense held him to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. Clemson has a three-point lead. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. From their own 40-yard line, third down. Fires out to his receiver. He makes his way to about the 42. That makes it second and two. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Gain of one yard. That'll make it third and one. He fights forward to about the 39. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. That makes it second and six. Tackle around the 39-yard line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 3-0, Tigers. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Clemson holds a field goal lead. Steps out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt.
The kick is up. And he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. Tries to buy some time. He's taken down around the 37 yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. The running back gets two on the carry. That was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Second and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. Mike 12, Mike 12. Ready! Black 55! And he hits him hard to 37-yard line. across the middle makes the catch but just not enough for the first yeah they're going to come up a little bit short here nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down everybody up close it looks like they're coming after this kick and this one is a beauty this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Clemson, up six. Wrestle him down in the backfield. That'll make it 35. Come on, the ball, Hork. Mike 17, Mike 17. Jamil. Hey, Three, three, three. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's 11 yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Stanford's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kurt. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running back just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, losing this football game. I think now is what close to this game. Now is when we start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. It's second and 11. Ball on the 50. They'll give it off here. Brought down at the 49-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'd be interested to see 
how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Got the corner. He's out to the 30, and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Out of bounds around the 46-yard line. the 46 yard line first down Clemson with a six point lead gets it out quickly and he's taken down at the 39 he ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage that he did and he made a good catch that short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off that's a great tackle at the 49 That'll make, make it third, third and 13. 13. Oh. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Drop deep, drop deep. Get out. Green eight, get out. They got him, and it's intercepted. They'll bring him down right around the 34. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. From the 34-yard line, first down. He zips it, and they couldn't hook up on that one. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That makes it second and ten. Four down, four down. the fight. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Accepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. It has the distance, and he missed it right. No good. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Clemson is up by six. Throws this one out to the left. They can't connect. Incomplete. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. Hey, we're pretty quiet, D. We're pretty quiet. After, After review of the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field is, is reversed. reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick throw. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 21. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his 
receiver for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 48-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 13-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. From their own 38 yard line. First down. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at about the 47 yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Quick throw picked off. And he's tackled at about the 49. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourself back as a team back into this game. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Clemson's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 48-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the eight. heavy pressure decides to take it himself and he's got it touchdown he splits the uprights with the extra point so a short three play 48 yard drive and the result seven points the score now 20 to nothing Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Stanford will take their second time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Here comes the pressure. We've played a half. The Tigers lead 20 to nothing. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams will continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see are more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you gotta pick your spots when you wanna throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you gotta be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call.
All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That'll make it from their own 28-yard line. Second down. He steps out at the 31-yard line. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Mike 17. Mike 17. Mike 17. Slings it. Tackle at the 33. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He gets rid of this one. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. You can't block me. You can't block me. Hey, check, check Mike. He heaves it deep. In and out of his hands. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. Signals for a fair catch. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Makes it out to about the 23. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Four down, four down. Twelve's the mic. Run, 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 run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. They go with the run. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 28. Mike 12. That's a Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull it out there, check the outside there. Three down, three down. 
Complete. He's got room. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. Number 21 makes the tackle. From their own 42-yard line. First down. They line up in the jumbo set. Here we go. Ready. Come on. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. That brings up second and 15. the cornerback and he throws it away really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball he's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner from their own 23 yard line it's first down There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Larry, Larry. I teed it up. 17's Mike. Mike 17. No, no. Down. I'm trying to cut Yo, it. Run, 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 run. Brought down around the 18-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up that front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Check, check back 11, check back 11. He goes out of bounds at the 25. That makes it fourth and eight. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 38. Not over here. Not over here. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That's good for gain nine yards. That it's second down now, and they're left, just a few left. feet away from that first down marker. Mike 12, Mike 12. Set. Tight end grab, first down. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and 10. ten. And he's taken down at the 43. One more quarter to play. The Tigers lead it by 20. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Mike 17. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring 
Here's an opening. Makes it to the 47. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. That's a gain of two on one play. That makes it second and eight. Seventeen's Mike. Mike yeah. 17. yeah. 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 He makes his way to about the 32. Run left side, and they'll bring him down behind the line. I think sometimes offenses forget to even include corners as defenders in tackle because a lot of corners just want to be out there and playing against the pass. But this is a corner that they have got to be responsible and remember in the future that he's got to be involved in being able to come up with a blocking scheme. This time, they just let him go. He's athletic and strong enough to come up and make a play. Brad, not only do they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Stanford's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Just under three to go in regulation. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Quick throw. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. Down, line 50. Line 12. Line 12. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. This is just an example of a safety reading the eyes of the quarterback and being able to get a good jump on the football to knock that away from the receiver. From their own 36-yard line. It's second down. Fires in a hurry. Interception. And they make the stop at the 45. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. Fights forward to about the 43. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 43 yard line. Here I come. I'm coming after you, 29. I'm coming after you, 29. And he's tackled at the 41 yard line. Push 
him out around the 29 yard line. From the 29 yard line. First down. Under a minute left. The ball pops free. Picks up the fumble. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball and a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Ready! He lets it fly. the 39-yard line, second down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Right. Deep pass to the end zone. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was the exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull fast. Four down, four down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at the 36. Stanford's going to take their first time out of the half. So they're going to go for it here. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. Knocked out of bounds at the 20. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got him the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. Stanford will take their second time out of the half. From the 23-yard line, second down. They'll go ground. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. End zone. Fires quickly. Touchdown. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven play, 39 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. at the 46-yard line. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. the ball game's over. The Tigers take this one, 20 to 7. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.